and I've located a leak near this back corner. Cut the panels away. Cut an opening through here as well. That's where it was repaired last time on those two spot wells. And now the leak is lower down behind this frame. Right behind here somewhere. So I'm gonna to have to cut this frame away to get to it. Cutting the frame away because you're limited to how deep you can cut with the cutting disc. I have to cut it out in small sections. That piece is ready to come out now. So I'm going to cut the frame off where well, I've marked it there. I think that should give me enough room if it's on this uh, if it's on this lower row, just getting the last bit off. I think that's where the leak is on that one. Yeah, you can just feel that. You can see that crack quite clearly. It's two thirds of the way around the spot weld. Right around that side. I'll be welding these two as well. I think I shall also weld the underside of these previous repairs. You can see that the, the stainless steel is stressed a bit just on that lower edge there. I've got those welded. I welded down the underside of the previous repairs. I'm going to be putting a plate across there which will sit on those welds so the welds will be taking the weight rather than the the hollow evaporator and then I shall be building some gussets which will slot down the side here to support that plate. I've just pressure tested the evaporator and found there's another leak on the other side. It's starting to rebuild the frame. I've got a plate tack welded in position there. Now I'm going to fit two gussets into the side there. Got the frame rebuilt. Now I've got to put these stainless steel panels back. 
I put some fiberglass insulation in there and then weld this piece back in. I welded that section in. Now I've got to put those panels on. They're only stitch welded. I have to cut a little piece out of there to clear this frame. Got those panels welded on. Polish the weld. I'll be back tomorrow to repair this other side. Leaking near that back leg. Back on site. I'm going to repair the leak on this side. We'll be taking those panels off around that leg first. Taking the panels off. Now I'll be cutting through this panel here. I've marked a line there where I'm going to cut it. I've cut an access opening through the outer panel. I've just pressurised it with nitrogen again and I've located the leak behind this frame. I'm going to be cutting the frame off like I did on the other side. I've got that frame cut away. And I've located the leak on that spot weld. It's not as bad a leak as the other side. That's where the leak is. So I'll be welding that spot weld up and I shall also be welding these others. Just started rebuilding the frame. Got that plate in place. Just tack welded in. I've got two gussets to weld in here. Got the frame finished. Next job is to put the insulation in there and weld this panel back in. Got the insulation in. I welded that panel back on. Now we need to weld these panels on. They're only stitch welded around here. Got all the panels on. Polish the welds up. So that's the job finished.